Hey, hey! Hello, friends. Uh, I forgot to pl plug in my microphone again, so everything is going to be desynced. It's wonderful, but uh, yeah, I uh, I've been wanting to see that opening cutscene where Banjo uh, gets flung out of his chair. Uh, each load file has a funny uh, intro like that. Uh, where he, you know, there's the one where he's on the bed and it throws him out the window, or he's at the kitchen. I don't know what happens at the kitchen, but I know on the one on the chair that he gets sprung out like that, so that's pretty funny. Anyway, so that kind of made my day until I realized I didn't plug in my microphone. Uh, so here we cut, and we come to right outside Rusty Bucket Bay. It's the level we're going to be starting here today. So, this is a rather large level. Um, at its center is a big ship, it's a cargo ship. Uh, there's lots of industrial buildings all around. Uh, there are, of course, a hundred notes that we need to collect. And you can go inside the ship in the windows. Uh, of course, the enemies are all nautical based, there's a lifesaver. Yeah, you can't go in that window. But if you want to try and go in a window, you gotta break it open like with that move. Uh, you can go in these uh, ventilation pipes here uh, and you find lots of goodies in here like a TNT box. So let's shoot it and it comes after me and explodes. What's a good game without explosions, right? <laughs> it's not a good game. Oh, and there's another one just for good measure. So we came in here to get eggs, and find the super monsters, and get a mumbo token. There it is. And maybe some red feathers. Uh, now, actually, if you look, there's some notes up there that I want to get. <sighs> this is so weird doing post commentary, watching myself play a game. I don't know what to say. So, I'm just going to be rambling a lot, I suppose. Yep, these all have sewer monsters. But uh, I really need the health because those uh, TNT boxes both exploded on me. So let's make our way back up to the deck. Uh, I'm going to be trying to use proper nautical terminology while I'm in this level. And so here we are back on the deck. Or is this... Uh, yeah, this is the deck. We were just in... Tech? It wasn't the hold. Where were we? No. I guess it is. It was part of the hold. It was a storage room. But, uh... If we go through this window here... If we go in the window, there we go. We are now in the crew quarters. Lots of bunks here. And there's two guys wandering around. The enemies here are a little tougher. You can't just roll into them like, uh earlier enemies, you actually do have to do that beak move. It's stronger. But, uh, we find a Mumbo token hidden in the corner, so I was trying to take out that guy. Yeah, and there's lots of details everywhere. Not on this bunk, but you notice the one, one above, there's a uh, conquer and address. Or maybe just a generic female squirrel. Yeah. Lots of little details like that throughout the game. If you want to find them, then I suggest you play the game. I'm not really going to look for them. I'll point them out if I notice. So, we just keep moving along the ship. Some conspicuous numbers there. I'm sure they're not important at all. Moving on. Uh, I don't need that health. What am I doing? I think I got lost for a second. We're going to head aft toward the stern. I do believe that is the rear end of a ship. It's called the stern. And so this is the uh, starboard lifeboat. And of course there's a mumbo token inside, because that's where you would keep them, right? Uh, let's go down another ventilation shaft. And what is this? It's propeller control. 
Yes, through that window there is the engine room. I want to get in there, but I can't. There's a one-up and eggs. Uh, but we can't break the glass. So we'll just hit the switch and slow down the engine a little bit. Why there are so many fans in the engine room, I will never understand. But anyway, let's head on out. Back up to the... Uh, back on deck, I suppose. Let's collect these notes. Kind of important, you know, for completion's sake. There's all the ones on the stern. This is the Rusty Bucket. That is the name of the ship. It's where we're in Rusty Bucket Bay. And Grunty sails under the rare banner. For whatever reason, she ships a lot of Rare's items. I don't know why Rare has hired an evil witch to uh, ship its cargo, but it has. You know, Rare didn't exactly become evil until they were bought out by Microsoft. So, uh, anyway, uh, here we find another sewer monster. And a Momo token, of course. Those are important. Now, you would think that those red feathers would be an indication that you need to uh, fly up to the top of that tower. I'm trying to figure out how to get up there right now. Um, but that's actually not what you need to do. If we head on uh, toward the bow, it's called when you head toward the front of the ship. Heading aft is the rear. That's the front. Maybe a stern is the front? I don't remember. My nautical terminology is not the best, but I know quite a bit. So up here is a giant crate of TNT that is not alive, but being suspended by a cable on a crane. Climb up the cable. Ah, there's the top of the tower. We're not going there just yet, and we're not going down either. That was a mistake. We're trying to head to the controls on the crane. So I want to uh, lower that box of TNT. So, let's climb down the ladder. I said climb, not fall. Oh, I don't know why I didn't collect the notes right then. I decided that pushing the button was more important. But, uh, well, that's one way to lower the box. Just let it drop. And break open to the hold. <laughs> We're gonna go inside. Yeah, nice three notes just hanging out there. You can pay a toll with eggs if you really want to. I don't want to right now. Maybe later. Just heading back up. That gold feather is probably an indication of things to come. But uh, I want to try and get this gun tilde pad right here. And I did a pretty terrible job of it. So bad, in fact, that I took damage. I wasn't even falling, though. Which is weird. But, uh, yeah. I decided to speed up this next section because I failed miserably at trying to get on top of this uh, tower. And, I, I mean, there I go, taking damage again. And I was really frustrated with it. I could not figure out what the heck I was doing wrong and you know I'm looking at those feathers going you know is, is there a place to fly do do I need to jump farther you know I just couldn't figure it out I actually got so frustrated I just stopped talking my commentary ceased unlike it is now I was looking around I fell down by accident trying to figure out you know how the heck do I get over there is there something I'm missing I getting so frustrated I can't even grab the cable and you know just keep falling over and over again it was a little boring and I grabbed the cable there for a second but the game decided I didn't and I fell in the hole and so it's boss time I didn't want to fight him just yet but who dares enter a boss boom boxes hold I've hidden my jigsaw you'll never get the gold that's how the line should have gone. You know, so many rhyming characters in this game, why didn't they make this boss rhyme? I don't know. Anyway, the eggs in the hold are supposed to be an indicator that you are 
probably supposed to use eggs to, to kill this guy. So it might take more than 100 eggs to kill him. Which is good because I have the 200 egg cheat enabled. It makes the game only a little easier. It doesn't make it like super easy. It's not like I have infinite eggs. There's still a limited quantity. And here is the time where I figured out I could stunlock the boss. And notice I was running around in circles and took a little bit of damage from him earlier. And I realized if I just mash that fire button, you know, he he keeps he moves back every time I hit him. I've got him stunlocked. And I, I think it's funny how his pitch goes up every time he gets smaller. It's a good old uh, cartoon trope. So there, I've used 100 eggs even. I thought about Wonder Winging, but I decided I would just keep going to make it faster. Pretty soon here, I'm just gonna say screw it and I'll Wonder Wing it. Because it is faster to use the Wonder Wing, but gold feathers are a hot commodity. There we go. Just like, you know what? Very few boxes left. There we go. I only used three feathers. Arg, you splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it, really. Yeah. Something I say. I didn't want that. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's replenish our eggs. We're probably going to spend the rest of the level replenishing our eggs. I've said before that the egg sound is actually a kazoo slowed down or pitched down because this is Banjo Kazooie after all and the eggs are Kazooie specific. Kazooie named after the kazoo. Of course Banjo is a banjo. Anytime you collect honey it makes a banjo sound. Anytime you collect an egg it's a kazoo but it's a very low pitched kazoo. Anyway lots of eggs strewn throughout the level but I'm not gonna collect them uh, right now. Instead I'm gonna try and get on top of this tower again. Uh, I don't need to speed up this next part because I make it in only a couple attempts, and I wouldn't have enough content to actually make a full episode if I sped it up again. So, yeah. And I figured out how not to take damage, you just keep moving forward. I don't know how that is not considered a fall when sliding down the edge of it is. It's weird. Yeah, let's replenish our health by one. Um, I think at this point I decided to go somewhere else, yes. I thought maybe there's a flight pad on top of the smokestacks here. And uh, since I'm collecting notes, uh, I'm not going to cut away. That's one of the reasons why I didn't cut away. I don't know why I didn't collect that health right there and still down by one or two. Uh, yeah. Lots of uh, catwalks here across these smokestacks. And ladders. These ladders don't pop you up like most of the ladders in the other levels. You actually have to jump off them. And of course, there's a monster living in the smokestack. Why wouldn't there be? I mean, the ship is owned by an evil witch. Of course, it would be enchanted. With monsters, that is. So yeah, up here we find a jiggy. And you get rewarded for your exploration. It's not really what I was looking for, though, but I'll take it. Let's go to the other smokestack. Let's jump off that shock jump pad. Should take us up. And boing. And there's a mumbo token. Again, not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. So I do indeed have to jump from the cable to the top of that tower over there. I don't even know what that tower is for. I know what most things are on a ship. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to figure it out in editing. Still can figure it out. <laughs> and I fell in the boss chamber again. This isn't a real boss chamber though. It's not like it's locked. There's a, there's a ladder leading out. So you can leave anytime you want. Like say if you were to run out of eggs or get low on health, you didn't want to start the level over again. Yeah. There we go. Made it onto the cable that time. And I think I figured out the reason why I kept missing the tower is because I was trying to extend my jump a little by 
uh, dropping some instead of uh, hitting uh, the the double jump at the apex of, of my jump, my first jump. Uh, it turns out that that is exactly what you need to do is hit the apex because you need to keep your height because that tower is a lot taller than it looks. So. Let's line up the camera. I was figuring maybe I couldn't make it because I wasn't doing a very straight on jump. So there, line up the camera. Are we there yet? There we go. And jump, hit the apex. Nope. Not that time. I think that jump is when I realized that I needed to hit the apex. Because I really waited to extend my jump and I still wasn't making it. So, this is when I decided I needed to do something different. I was overthinking it a little too much, I think. Young me wouldn't have tried to extend my jump. Young me would have hit the double jump at the top of, the, of my first jump. And go! There, we made it finally. And let's hit the grunty pad. And where does it unlock? A jiggy? But right there. Say, so in the video there, I'm trying to explain what I just did to figure out how to get there. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi for Geeks Under Grace, and uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like it, and follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs>